What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you how to use the BioCoupler TM Temporary Mesh on Bioreactor. Uh, the first step is to make tissue culture media and the media is going to depend on whatever plant you're working with. In my case, I was experimenting with carnivorous plants. So I will use the, um, I use the typical carnivorous plant media I always use. The only difference is that I didn't use any gelling agent. So no agar or gelsan or whatever other gelling agent you typically use. This is essentially liquid medium. Other than that, it is the same medium. Uh, after that, I uh, sterilized my bioreactors, the entire jar, jar using a, a pressure cooker at a 121 degrees Celsius uh, for 20 minutes. Uh, after the bioreactors uh, cooled down, it was time to move the plants in. So um, while doing the experiments, uh, I pretty much um, figure out that you have one side up and one side down where you have the screw and basically is where the coupler adjusts you want to use this side up it doesn't really matter if you use the other side forever whenever you're moving the plants if you have to adjust the bend it is much easier to use this side uh, this side as up so that's the only thing other than that there is not really a rule or anything that say which way is up and down um, but like i say it's much easier to keep it like this so the plants i'm working with uh, this is like i say they are carnivorous plants i started with using with nepenthes tuncara uh, dalintonia californica um, cephalotus follicularis and kelian foram minor uh, those are the four plants i work with uh, now this uh, video is pre-recorded uh, from May, back from I started doing the experiments using the biocoupler. And from all those plants, they are doing great, except for the cephalotus. The cephalotus unfortunately died. Uh, it didn't really, I can never have good luck using the, uh, using, using the cephalotus on bio, on bio reactors. It's not really the biocoupler fault. It is something that I can never be able to grow it well on tissue culture. Um, at least on no on bioreactor, not sure why it doesn't do those well for me. But anyways, after that I use seal the 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 the, the, the jars using the the parafilm or serine wrap, or you can use even use electrical tape. After that, this is basically a day after um, you. I was basically moving the 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 the, the bio coppers to the side. Now, as you can see on this one, on the second one, there is media still on top. So what happened is that if you fully close it as much as you can, there is no much, uh, I mean, the, the media can still go to the side. However, it makes a little bit of vacuum where the media goes very slowly. So you want to keep it, you want to open a little bit more. And if, you, if your plants are big enough, I really recommend to keep it fully open. This is the best way uh, to make the media move faster. That's the only thing. Now, I also, I on this video, like I say, it was from six months ago, I mentioned that you have to do this every day. And I started doing this uh, every day for the, la the first like two weeks or so. And the plants did look okay. Uh, doesn't really affect the, the growth of the plants, but it is not really necessary. Uh, I've been using the the bio the bio coppers, um, for the last few months, and I only move the plants maybe once or twice uh, a week, maybe even three times. But uh, more than that, it's not really necessary. Uh, now, during the next uh, few days, I want to show you the progress of these plants on very on short videos. And I hope you have enjoyed it, and then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying these tissue culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at plantcelltechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.